Good morning. My name is Joanne Spraga. I'm proud to be the Executive Director of the Children's Museum of Greater Fall River. This is our grand opening this morning, which means we've completed phase one, which is our first floor. I'd like to invite you to join me on a little tour now. This room is called Violet's Room. It's modeled after this book, Violet's Music, which is about a little girl that loves music from the day she's born. She goes out in her world looking for music. If you go around the room, you'll see there are instruments from around the world, uh, drawings on the wall. We're done by a Bristol Community College art class. The students actually received a class grade for the drawings they submitted, and then as volunteers, actually did the drawings. We've had butterflies hatched this week for our grand opening week, which was our intent. We've had the caterpillars and the children have had a chance to watch the chrysalis form. And now we have three uh, monarch butterflies uh, this morning, which are feasting on watermelon and sugar water this morning. We provide educational, seasonal kinds of uh, little exhibits in, in addition to our rooms. So the butterflies you just saw, we're doing some planting with children that they can see how some uh, beans, we're growing green beans and some flowers here, and then they can take a seed home and help to let it germinate at home. So they're given a little bag with a moist paper towel and they can take it home and let it root and then plant it outside or in a pot of their own. This is our circle room. Everything about circles in this room, an interactive room. Uh, some of it for the young child, even though some of the older kids love the tubes to climb in. Good old hula hoops. Um, the zoetrope is a, a great attraction where you spin and you see the motion in the mirrors. Uh, the children can do some crafts in here, they can do spin art. And one of the most popular things in here is an old-fashioned record player. And uh, children are fascinated by this and we get many smiles on the faces of grandparents, particularly uh, when the children get to play a record. Their favorite thing is putting it on the wrong speed, however, they think that's Once really funny. Once I saw green, two but, birds uh, come hop, hop, hop. Catherine uh, has been doing art with children for a couple of hours on Saturday. She's a service learning student from taking a course at Bristol Community College, but also graduating from Bridgewater as well. So this morning, uh, they're doing what we call reverse uh, where they are drawing with a white or yellow crayon and then going over it with a dark paint. Hence you see the uh, fireflies. You made that one? You did a beautiful job. <laughs> this room we call the construction or transportation room where children are invited to uh, play with many um, objects, the train table, um, the bridge here, they can take uh, cars and trucks and uh, have them go over um, the span of the bridge and uh, blocks that can build their own city and uh, many different types of vehicles that they can uh, play with on this nice soft cushioned rug. Michelle Paganetti did this, I don't know if you know Michelle, from, uh, she's an art teacher at Fall River Schools. This is our water room. We're so excited to have completed. This completed this phase one of all of our first floor. One of the most popular things about this room, besides the fun part of playing in water, is the tile wall. Families were invited to paint a tile. There was a $10 charge, which was to help defray the cost of this room. Uh, so families are excited to come in and find their tile. Um, on the, on the 
and see how the children can play. I just don't want to use mommy because I just usually just play something. Room is a creation of a professor by the name of Eric Durant and his students at Bristol Community College that actually designed uh, this room and built it with their own hands, uh, did some of the design work, they did the budgeting, they did some of the shopping with us, did a fantastic job um, and they were able to help us keep the cost down. So we're grateful to them. It's a very interactive room for the children um, and you can see how well the children are enjoying it this morning. Find at the bottom, there are dinosaur bones that are attached to the bottom of the pit. 